Hello, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. Reading today in Matthew chapter 9, verse 25. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Actually, I want to begin reading in verse 23. Jesus is on the way to a ruler's house, a religious ruler's house, to heal his daughter. And it says in verse 23, When Jesus came into the ruler's house, he saw the musicians and the people making a noise. And that's a bad sign because those musicians were paid mourners. And so they, along with the other people who were making the noise, were there wailing for the death of this man's little daughter. Verse 24, He, Jesus, said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. They were getting paid, no doubt, to play their instruments, to weep all sorts of fake tears, to pretend to mourn for this little girl who died. And Jesus tells them to leave. He tells them she's not dead. She's just asleep. Well, now they knew that she was dead. Everyone knew that she was dead. You can tell if a person is sleeping or if they are dead. They don't look at all alike. Jesus said she was sleeping, though. Didn't he know? He knew. But he also knew that he would be raising her from the dead in just a minute. And so, as far as he was concerned, she was just, uh, she was just sleeping, just temporarily out. And he would wake her up by bringing her back from the dead. He would summon her soul from heaven and cause it to return back into her body. But they laughed him to scorn. Don't be surprised when people in this world who don't know Christ and don't believe the Word of God laugh at you or act scornfully towards you because you stand on the Word of God, because you live the way you live, because you live for Jesus. They don't understand. Just like these people didn't understand Jesus. If they would have believed that he was the Son of God like they should have, they wouldn't have laughed at him. They might have said, well, we know she's dead, but whatever you say, Jesus, we know that you're going to probably bring her back to life if that's the way you're talking. But they didn't know God. They didn't know Jesus. And they had no regard for the Word of God, so they laughed at him. Don't be surprised if the people of the world laugh at you. 25. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand. And the maid arose. All he had to do is take her by the hand. You know why she came back? It's because that's what Jesus wanted to happen. And the Bible says that Jesus holds the keys to death and hell. Jesus decides when we die. Sickness said, I'm taking this little girl to the grave. And it sure looked like sickness had its way. But Jesus said, not so fast, sickness. I'm your Lord. And it's not time for this one to go yet. So she didn't. Well, actually she did, but she came back. 26. And the fame of this went abroad unto all that land. News about Jesus had already spread throughout the land, which is why so many people were bringing their sick and dying to him. Everyone had an opinion about Jesus. No one could deny that his miracles were genuine. 
And Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When you pray to him, keep in mind who he is and just what he can do. For more of God's word, go to the Bible verse by verse dot com.